Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video. For today's video, I don't really have anything new or new products to share or show you guys, but I do have some new exciting news. So today, Friday, August 4th, that is today's date, the Kiara Sky Dust Collectors are back in stock. If you did want one and you haven't had the chance to get one yet, definitely run to their website and get one if you are able to. I am not pressuring anyone to purchase one of these Kiara Sky Dust Collectors, but they have had a couple restocks already and the, they seem to sell out super quick. So I just wanted to announce that and let everyone know that the dust collectors are back. Um, of course, they can sell out again. So if you are wanting one, definitely go ahead and make your purchase if you are able to. I do have a discount code with Kiara Sky. I will leave that in the description box below along with my affiliate link. And then I also do have a full unboxing and kind of like a demo using the dust collector posted on my channel as well. So you could definitely check that out. I'll go ahead and leave the link to that video up in the cards in case you do just want a little bit more information or if you want to see how the dust collector really works. But let's go ahead and jump in now and actually start doing our nails. So like I said, I don't really have any new products today. I am going to be using products from Kiara Sky for today's nail set. I also am going to be trying a TikTok nail hack or nail art design. I'll go ahead and pop that TikTok up on screen now. I saw this and I was absolutely amazed with, first of all, just the concept of adding actual bubbles onto your nail and then getting a bubble effect and then also the end result of their nail set. It was stunning. Oh my goodness. It was chef's kiss. I love the way this looked. I also thought it was super cool that we are going to be actually putting bubbles onto our nails. So this was a must try for me. So in today's video, that's what I'm going to be trying. I'm going to be doing some bubble nails today. So off camera, I did apply a peel off base coat just to keep it simple and really jump into doing the actual nail design today. I'm also going to be doing some super long nails, so I sized out some 3XL nails. I'll be using the Builder Step Number 3 from Kiara Sky to apply those, and then I'll also be using the Flash Mini Curing Lamp. So when starting this video and doing the gel extension and applying these nail tips, I was going right along my merry little way here applying the nails. I didn't even look up to my phone that was recording to see, but I did get a pop-up saying that I was out of storage. So actually the only footage for me applying the nail tips that you're gonna see here is me applying the pinky nail. If you do want a more full in-depth tutorial of how to apply gel nail tips or gel extensions, I do have several videos up on my channel, but I just wanted to mention that. I do really apologize that that happened. When I looked up and saw that pop-up message, I was super bummed because I was like, now tell me why did I just apply these and not look up at my phone once? But I did have to take some time, delete some videos, um, put them onto my hard drive and stuff like that. So the rest of the video, it will be fine. I cleared up my phone storage, but that was a bummer to me. But I did go ahead. I applied all those nail tips. I also did go in sealing the cuticle, filing the nails, and buffing the surface as well. We are jumping right in. So the color that was used in the actual TikTok video that I saw, it was a blue jelly glitter gel polish. I loved it and I wanted to do the same like design with it. The actual creator of this nail set that I saw on TikTok did do a full nail set doing French tips and some different jelly colors, but I decided that I wanted to do all blue nails. So I'm going to be applying a coat of this blue jelly gel polish and curing for 30 seconds.
Here is the first coat of this color, and oh my goodness, I love jelly gel polishes recently. I've just been loving them so much, these ones from Kiara Sky. I did use them in a previous video and actually showed all of the swatches for this collection, and I love them. I can't wait until the other colors in this collection come back in stock. I will definitely be picking those up. But like I mentioned in the TikTok video, they used a blue glitter jelly polish. I didn't have any of those. All of the jelly colors were just regular jelly. So I pulled out the Hollow Grail Sprinkle On Glitter from Kiara Sky. And when I'm going in with my second coat of gel polish here, before curing, I will just dip my fingers into that glitter and sprinkle some over the gel polish. I don't want to cover the nail with the glitter, but I do just want to give kind of like a sprinkled effect and have some glitter pieces throughout the gel. This was the easiest way I could think of to do this. You could also mix the glitter in with your gel polish and do it that way. But honestly, doing it this way, I could have the perfect amount of glitter on each nail and I could just cover the nail lightly coating it exactly how I wanted it. So I apply the gel polish, I sprinkle on the glitter, and then I will cure the nail and then I'll repeat to the rest of the nails and then we will move on to the next step. After that second coat of gel was applied and I had the glitters cured in, I am taking a lint-free wipe with some rubbing alcohol just to remove the sticky layer to make things a bit easier when it comes time for adding the bubbles. And here are how the nails look, absolutely gorgeous. I think adding that glitter just added a little bonus touch to these nails. So I have my bottle here and I put a little bit of water into it and then I put soap and then I just shook that up and it created a bunch of bubbles in the bottle. Very easy, just keep in mind you don't want a lot of water in the bottle. You want just a very tiny bit of water and then like a few drops of soap. Any soap will work. I just used a, regu a regular like bathroom hand soap and put some pumps into there and then I shook it up and I created a bunch of bubbles in the bottle. I'm now going in with the Milky White here. This is just a Milky White gel polish from Kiara Sky. You can also mix up your own Milky White if you don't have one using a little bit of top or base coat and then mixing a little bit of white gel polish in there. So I am taking this and adding it on the nail where I want the bubble effect to be. This was very simple. I'm kind of just going in and adding a little bit in different spots of the nail. Once I do have the polish applied to the nail, I will use an ombre or a blending brush and kind of blend the edges. When watching the TikTok video, I did see that they went in and did this as well, just so that you don't end up with any like rough edges of the gel polish. It kind of blends a little bit nicer. And honestly, I feel like this isn't necessary. You don't really have to like take your time and really blend and ombre the colors together. But just going in a little bit with a brush and kind of blending the milky white color out, I feel like it will just help a little bit. But overall, once I started applying the bubbles, I felt like it kind of blended itself a little bit. And you'll see here in a second, I thought this was going to be easy. I thought I was going to be able to just add bubbles to the entire nail and it would be just as easy as right here. And then it just all fell off. So I did it again and then it fell off again. <laughs> and then I did it again and I was like, okay, what is going on here? The bubbles literally would not stay on the nail. So I used my glove and kind of scooped up the bubbles that I had on my paper towel. And it was just so difficult. I thought I was going to be like messing up the gel polish. And I thought it was going to be a disaster. But once I had the bubbles on the nail, I did hurry up and do a 60 second cure. And then once the cure was finished, I did just take a napkin or a paper towel and remove the remaining bubbles. And the design was there. So I was very happy. I was getting a little discouraged when the bubbles were not sticking to the nail. I was like, what did I do wrong? Why are my bubbles sliding off? But yes, it feels like you are taking a bubble bath because bubbles are going to be everywhere if you try doing this. 
but the end result of the nails, I really do like them. For this being my first attempt, I think these nails turned out super great, and it was also just a lot of fun, even though it was a little discouraging with the bubbles staying on the nail. I just felt like adding the bubbles onto the nail just made it super fun. One thing definitely you want to keep in mind is when you apply that milky white gel polish, do not cure it until you put bubbles on the nail. Another tip that I recommend is covering the entire nail with bubbles. Don't try to only put the bubbles on the milky white layer because the milky white layer is the only uncured gel on the nail. That's only where you're going to get the bubble effect at. But being able to try to estimate or like put the bubbles exactly on those spots, it's just going to make it things a lot more difficult. So do just squeeze out the bubbles covering the entire nail. Once I did have the bubbles on the nail, which it was really hard to keep them on the nail, I was struggling quite a bit. They wanted to be bubbles and slide everywhere. But once they were on the nail, I did go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. And then once I was done curing, I did just wipe off the remaining bubbles and I was easily able to see the bubble effect. It is a little bit hard to see on camera, I feel, but don't worry. Once we get to the end shots, I do zoom in and you will be able to see the bubble texture and bubble effect, which I really do love. I'm just going to go ahead and let this last nail play out and I will be just repeating the same exact steps as I did with the other nails. So here are the nails after I was all finished with the bubble design. Another thing that I did notice is when I put the gel closer to my cuticle and then I added on the bubbles and did my cure and then I wiped it away, the gel polish did kind of like move around. I don't know if that's because the gel polish or Kiara Sky gel polish specifically is more of a thinner consistency or it may possibly just have been because the bubbles were sliding everywhere and it was kind of moving the gel with it. Either way, it was kind of like impossible for me to clean up until it was cured. So for this nail here specifically, I did get a little bit on my skin. I probably would recommend putting on some like latex or like that stuff that you can paint around your skin just to protect your skin a little bit. But because that did happen to me, I didn't really notice it too much until I was already all cured. But I just used that new drill bit, a cuticle bit from Kiara Sky that is a new release from them. It came in really handy because I was easily able to clean that up. I'm now going in with my top coat layer here. I'm using the Jelly Tip Top Coat, which is step number four. I'll apply a layer of that to all of the nails, cure for 30 seconds, and then I will also go in with the regular non-wipe top coat from Kiara Sky as well and apply a layer of that to all of the nails and cure for 30 seconds. You could definitely go in and encapsulate these nails with some clear dip powder, clear acrylic, clear poly gel, or just do like what I'm doing here and using two coats of top coat. I bet you could also even go in with the third coat and do some light buffing if you would like. But for that second coat, I felt like it encapsulated very nicely. Of course, with this design, the bubbles are going to have quite a bit of texture to them. And it is always best to encapsulate that. That way it doesn't get stuck on things or stuck in your hair. But using the two coats of top coat, it definitely encapsulated great for me. I did do my thumbnail off camera there. A very quick and easy video if I'm being honest and honestly a quick nail set. I really like how these turned out. I feel like this would be something great to do as like a beach themed nail set since they do kind of look like the ocean like waves or the foam in the ocean. 
but I did apply my rose scented cuticle oil from Kiara Sky. I rubbed that in to nourish my cuticles and of course like I always say top off the nail set and here is the finished look. I really love how these nails turned out. I also had such a fun time trying this TikTok nail hack. Give this video a like if you guys do like when I try these like viral TikTok trends, nail hacks, nail designs. Let me know. It seems like you guys do love them. I also really love trying them as well. I feel like it's things that I would never think of and just something different and unique and fun to try. So I really do like filming these videos. Let me know by liking the video and leaving a comment if you guys like watching these types of videos. Also, if you have any recommendations for products that you want me to try or just in general hacks and designs that you want me to try, go ahead and tag me. Send them to me on Instagram. I am always up for taking suggestions and, of course, trying new things. Here are the end shots that I was talking about where I got kind of like zoomed into the nails. I think it looked so satisfying to see like the bubbles on the nails. I loved how these turned out. They were definitely giving ocean to me. I think they would have looked really cute with like an ocean themed nail set as well. Like if I put on some seashells or starfish, it just looks like waves to me. I love it, but I really do love how these nails turned out. Um, let me know if you guys love them as well or if you have tried this bubble nail trend. There are also some other bubble nail trends going around. I have tried doing it and I was going to film it, but I just feel like I cannot get the hang of it and I just can't do it. You guys may know what bubble nail trend I'm talking about, but this one is definitely a lot easier. Um, let me know down below if you have any tips on how to keep the bubbles on the nail while curing. But here are the finished looks. Don't forget about the Kiara Sky Dust Collector Restock. If you do want to get your hands on one of those, I recommend acting fast because they do have the possibility of selling out once again. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.